Hi, my name's Elaine Ross. I'm the Aquila brand manager. Today, I'd like to welcome you on board the all-new Aquila 47 Molokai in our offshore product lineup. Aquila is known throughout the world of producing some of the top power catamarans. We've got three different segments that we manufacture. We've got our yacht class, which is our 42, 44, 54, 70, and then we've got our sport class, which is our Aquila 32 and 36. Our first introduction to the offshore product line was the Aquila 28 Molokai. Now we're introducing the Aquila 47 Molokai. So join me on board today as we go through the boat with our crew, and I'm gonna walk you through some of the key features on board the Aquila 47 Molokai. Let's cast the lines and step aboard. Welcome aboard the Aquila 47 Molokai. So we're here out in the open water and I want to take you through the boat and show you some really nice features. But I'm back here more importantly with Summer who's gonna do some pre-diving for us today. So Summer, tell me a little bit about what you enjoy about the Aquila 47 Molokai. From a spearfishing and pre-diving standpoint, I mean, this boat is perfect. Uh, we have a lot of gear, so it can get really congested back here when you have a few divers hopping in. So for me to be able to put my stuff up here, get ready up here and then have all of this room open for other divers or people fishing, it's perfect. And I can slide my fish up here, double doors here. I mean, the space is incredible. It is the ideal boat for spearfishing and fishing. Awesome. While summer's down below, um, I'm gonna walk you through some of the nice features on the aft deck. We've got a concealed dive ladder um, or swim ladder, if you wanna to refer to it that way. It actually pulls up and gets concealed by a hatch cover. While you're on board this Aquila 47, the base version in terms of propulsion comes with dual 600s. In this version, owner's version, they've elected to go with Mercury 450 Racing. We will have a mid-tier package of the new Mercury V10 400s, and then you can go up from there. So that's your power package that uh, that comes with this boat. But in terms of features, as you step on board, you one thing you're gonna notice is just the beam on her. We're standing in a 14 foot, seven inch beam boat. So she's, she's beamy. Um, so from a fishability for free diving or spear fishing or just entertaining, there's tons of room in your aft deck back here. You've got two jump seats um, on your port, port side and starboard side, large enough for two adults on each side. So that's four, four seats right there. You also, in front of that, you've got aft facing seating, which uh, seats up to three adults facing seats. So just in your aft cockpit here, you've got enough seating for seven people. So just think about that. We're just in the aft cockpit, seven people on board here in the aft cockpit sitting comfortably. Also in this version, there's a couple different fishing packages that you can choose with this boat. Um, right now we have elected, this owner is not elected to go with the full uh, platinum package, which um, I'll get a little bit more into detail with that. So there's the ability to add tuna tubes to this boat. Um, in this version, what we've got is just simple locker, locker space. So we've thrown some drinks in there, some water. You can fill it up with ice. You can use it as a rubbish or trash to, uh, location um, for your guests. So you've got one on your port side, one on your starboard side. Inwards of that, you've got two live well tanks, vertical standing live well tanks. Um, each is 42 and a half gallons. So you've got me 85 gallons right there. Um, just in stand up live well tank. As Summer was demonstrating when she came through and accessed the swim ladder, you actually have a very nice entry gate here. Um, so you have a clean walkway through to the aft of the boat, whether you need to service your engines or if you're just doing some entertaining, you're at the sandbar, or in this case, whether you're going diving or swimming out in the ocean. So really, really nice access heading out to the aft of the boat. And we've got two oversized drains, one on the port side, one on the starboard side with a big gutter on each side. The reason for that, if you were in really rough seas and you took a wave over the bow, big wave, it's obviously gonna fill up your aft cockpit with a lot of water. So you need a place for that water to evacuate quickly. So that's what this gaff comes in in the big play. It's able to evacuate that water. If in a pinch you had to, you can also pop this open, pop this latch, and it's gonna open up. So from a water safety standpoint, that's really a key feature for us is being able to evacuate water quickly a lot of pre-planning, a lot of pre-thinking that's gone into the design of the Aquila 47. Small detail, but an important detail when it comes to boat safety. On your port side and your starboard side and the aft corners also, you've got access to your mechanical lockers. Um, in a second, I'll open those up, but I'll just give you the lay of the land right now. This owner has also elected to go with two in-deck light well systems. So base where I am standing right now, and then also on the port side, you've got two additional 
live well tanks in this version. Now the standard version comes just with locker space. So you've got two, they're both 50 gallons or an additional 100 gallons of storage capacity. So if you're running back and forth to the islands or running supplies, or you need to store some dry goods or life jackets or anything like that, you can throw them in there. Or if you're doing a lot of fishing, which this boat is built for, you can obviously set that up and use those as a life well system. You've got your rocket launcher system here. You've got rod holders for four, two cup holders. We were out fishing yesterday. Um, this was a really nice area to put our fishing rods and set up our lines. Um, this was really the hub of all activity back here. To your port and starboard, we've got also our access to our dive doors. Um, so they're very easy to operate. Put a latch in and you open it up. So we've got great, great access out. So if you're in, if you're at a floating dock, this is typically, you can envision your dock space here. Easy to get in and out, both sides, port and starboard. So we're not limited to having a dive door only on the port side or only on the starboard side and that having to dictate how you dock your boat or where you dock your boat. Um, also easy access if you are bringing in a big fish and you've been out fishing, you gotta haul something onto the deck, which is pretty typical. You'll pull it up through your dive door rather than your transom area. So great use of the space back here. Also, have you, as you take a look around, you're gonna see ample fishing rod holders throughout the boat. On the aft of the hard top, we've got eight uh, fishing rod holders. On the port and starboard side, we've got an additional two, four total, two on each side. On the aft of the boat, we've got six, and then running up each gunnel, we've got eight. So that's a total of 16 on your gunnels, um, which are offset either at vertical and 15 degrees on this owner's version. Depending on what type of fishing you're doing, you can set them up all as vertical, not typical, but you can set them up however you want. If you want them all 15 degrees, we can certainly do that for you, um, or you can swap those out yourself. So tons of uh, fishing rod holders uh, capability. We were out fishing yesterday. There were 10 of us on board. Everyone had plenty of room on board this boat. And as I, as I take a walk through, you're really going to get a feel for just how big and gracious this boat is and how comfortable. I think one of the takeaways that I had from yesterday's fishing trip was just the comfort running out to where we are. So if you hear me, um, I'll mention it a couple times, but I think that was a big takeaway everyone had was just how comfortable this boat is. Had tons of seating, three facing aft. You've got a total of seven uh, in the, under the hard top uh, facing forward. You've got an additional two jump seats back here facing forward. So that's 11. Um, and then you've got an additional three on the bow. And as we work our way, that's a lot of forward facing seating. Um, so everyone has a great view on board this boat. But some of the key features um, on the hardtop itself, our hardtop is full carbon fiber. And that's to build up your rigidity and your strength and also for tremendous weight savings on the boat. Really, really nice looking. It's got a gray undertone to it. The boat's white itself. So the gray helps keep the glare off of your eyes when you're under the hardtop. So it's just not as uh, fierce on your eyes when you're out in a sunny, beautiful day like today, offshore fishing and diving. So some of the other really neat features on board from a fishability standpoint, in our backrest or behind our backrest, we've got built-in fish tackle box storage um, with in drawer space. So in here, so you can set this up, obviously it'll come with all the doodads to put your different set fishing setups in, but tucks away nicely. That's on the port side, on your starboard side. You've got a nice cutting board that you simply pull down so you can use this as your bait station in addition to your rocket launcher. So really just a great use of space, a lot built in into here. The other item that you'll notice, we've got integrated steps going up to the hard top. So the boat is built with a structural support in place. If you do want to put a tuna tower or a version of a tuna tower above, all the structural support is there. All the conduit runs are already in place. Um, below your seating, you also have built-in coolers. So we've been out obviously fishing and diving, stack these up with a bit of food and some drink, um, but you can fill these up with ice. You also have the ability to uh, utilize your fish lockers or your live well. So in this case, we've just stuck a few things in here. Um, in the base version, they just come 50 gallon a piece storage compartments. So total of 100 gallons right here between your two in-deck lockers. On our port side, we've got our hooker sea chest system. We've got three pumps in there, variable speed. So we've run all of our plumbing, um, anything water related 
um, through our port side and in our starboard side we've got the electrical compartment so we've got some battery connections we also have the ability from your engine engine fuel management system where you can run your port engines off of your port fuel tank or and your starboard off of your starboard or you can cross all of your engines over either to run off of your starboard tank or your port tank um, you can also split them up a bit further than that so it's really important if you are running you know the ability to switch your fuel over you never know when you're going to run into a problem you know boats are boats engines are engines stuff happens when you're on the water so we're trying to think ahead of those items and help you get home safely um, we think that that's a really important aspect for you so as i open up here this is the port side and where you'll notice one is how deep i'll just jump in there in a minute but when you take a look inside here you're going to see double everything's double hose clamped You've got your hooker sea chest system that's uh, pulling everything through, the hooker that's feeding your live well tanks. Um, there is an option for tuna tubes back here. If you do want to go with the platinum version, um, that's going to give you, depending on what type of fishing, if you're doing big, fish, big game fishing, you're probably going to want the tuna tubes for that style of fishing that you're doing. Um, so on your tuna tubes will go on the port and starboard side. But as you take a look down here, I'll jump down and just give you an idea of how big it is. Um, Plenty of room from a maintenance perspective to tuck down here, take a seat. You've got all your water pump connections here. You've got a sea chest that's coming through for your live well tank, your water system for your air conditioning on board, um, which is a really nice feature and I'll get to that in a minute. And then on our starboard side, similar in design. Um, we were offshore yesterday fishing, so I have actually tucked the life raft back here and a uh, secondary anchor. Um, but when you take, I'm not going to jump down in this one, but if you do jump down, it's same size sort of uh, layout in there. This side is dedicated to your electrical battery connection. So nice separation between your plumbing and your electrical, keep them segregated. Also on the aft of the hard top, you've got two big Fusion speakers. I believe they're 8.8 .8 inch. So if you're in the water or you're at a sandbar and you're having fun or at the marina and you want to crank the tunes up, this boat will boom. Um, she sounds great. Um, you also, from a fishability standpoint, you've got an MFD up here, 16 inch MFD rear facing. So if you are part of the tackle team, if you're fishing, um, you have the ability to actually see what the captain's seeing on the bottom. Or if you're looking at boat data, you can set all of that up through the MFD and really adjust how you're fishing when you're dropping based on what the captain's stating. Um, so just a really nice feature to be able to do that. And for the entertainment side, also this MFD can be linked into a network and you can Bluetooth in, so if you're just wanting to watch the game on a Saturday or Sunday, you can turn on the tunes and sit back here or the TV and run it and watch your game. So really nice feature. As we move forward, we have a built-in refrigerator that opens up, so an additional nice little area with some snacks or drinks. Um, to my left, we've got our seawater wash down, so this feeds directly up board or raw water. On our port side, we've got a fresh water wash down. So you have both seawater and fresh water, which is really nice. Um, moving a little bit forward, this owner, we have an option um, to upgrade our upholstery. Standard comes with seven seats in under the hard top, um, stid seats, so captain's chairs. There is an upgrade opportunity, which this client has opted for, which is a re release marine upholstery. Um, so you get your nice varnished teak, um, and then just a really elevated level in terms of upholstery. It ties the boat really nice, nicely together with your rocket launcher and then some additional accents. So you have two rows of seating. So on your second row of seating is actually stadium seating or elevated seating. We raise the back seating a little bit so that everyone's got a really nice line of sight out to the bow of the boat or out to the sides. Our windshield and side windows are really wide apart. What this does is it protects everyone inside the hard top and makes for an extremely dry ride. So really important from an environmental standpoint, just to protect yourself, um, which we believe we've done a very good job and that you'll appreciate. You'll also notice that we've got oversized cleats um, running up. You've got two in the aft. You've got a set of two spring lines on your port and starboard side. And then you've got four oversized cleats on your bow. So a total of 10 oversized stainless cleats. Also throughout the boat, you're gonna notice numerous handhelds. We've got an integrated stainless handrail up forward that actually goes around the entire bow area. So no matter where you're moving, you've got one hand for your boat, one hand for yourself for safety as you move throughout the boat. You're also gonna notice that you've got bolsters 
that uh, padded bolsters that run completely 360 degrees around the interior of the boat. So no matter where you are in the foredeck, along the sides, you've got a nice padded area that's going to help you out in the long run. But most importantly, while I've got Captain Steve, he took us uh, fishing recently. And so I just wanted to give you some of his feedback from a fishability standpoint. So Captain Steve, what'd you find? I know it was your inaugural trip on board, but that feedback is very valuable to us because it helps us get better. So what did you find about the boat that was uh, that stood out to you? Well, things have changed a lot in the last 30 years I've been doing this, but yesterday was the most comfortable ride I've had offshore. Um, you know, being able to run that far that past and sit here with the air conditioning blowing and these comfortable seats and the shade and the stereo. I mean, it was very comfortable. I felt like I was driving down the street in a car instead of a boat, you know, 120 miles offshore. Yeah. So that, that, that was pretty special. Um, you know, a lot of the features, big, big machines, um, you know, get a little older, your eyes start going a little bit, but I mean, you need these big machines. You can split them up. But having a great big bottom machine, you can see all the detail and everything like that, which is really important fishing. Um, space in the boat was, I mean, we had a lot of people on board yesterday. Puzzle room, nobody's, you know, things were in the way. Um, you know, there was a lot of space. People were fishing all over the place. I walked up to the front, all the way to the front of this 47-foot boat and dropped the bait straight to the bottom in 400 foot of water. And it was perfect. It was like... So it was like a sport fish, but a center console. And this is kind of like a hybrid in the middle. Uh, but she's fast, the fish in, I mean, it runs great. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Captain Steve. So as I, as Captain Steve said, there's a lot of great fishability um, items on board this boat. One of the key features is obviously our MFD setup. Um, on this version is our silver, silver version. So we've got two 24 inch displays. In our platinum version, you can drop that down to uh, three slightly smaller smaller displays, but that gives you the ability then to have three dedicated displays, whether you want to put your radar on one, fish finder on another, and your chart on the app on, on a different screen. So you have the, a multitude of different ways that you can set those screens up. You still can do that on your 24-inch displays also, but you split the screen. So a little bit different of a viewpoint, just depends how you want to set that up. Um, as we look forward at the navigation station here, obviously you're going to see our air conditioning vents that you can open and close. Um, so as Captain Steve said, a really great feature just to have the air conditioning. So you've got it here for your primary seating for your captain and co-captains. Our secondary seating, stadium seating, that's a little bit elevated. They also have uh, air conditioning vents down below. So all uh, seats underneath the hardtop that are forward facing you have the air conditioning capability. Your air conditioning while I'm on that subject is run through your lithium ion battery bank. Um, so it is, there is an option to upgrade. This boat has been upgraded to the lithium ion battery bank. What that does is it gives you the ability to sit at anchor, run your air conditioning, your boat systems for a period of about eight hours, just strictly off your lithium ion battery bank. So that means no generator on board, on board no dedicated fuels uh, storage capacity needed for it to run a generator that ultimately all means weight saving so when you are running your boat that's really important that is an upgrade option if you don't select that option to run your air conditioning you would have to be plugged into the shore power but really great feature if you're staying on board to be able to do that not be connected to dock power um, while we're facing forward the central brains of the boat is managed through c-zone system tech through a touch display similar to your iPhone. So there's different modes on board here that you can set, um, whether you're stepping on board or leaving the boat, stuff is programmed to turn off automatically after you press it, it's timer involved. Um, in addition to that, we have the season also tying into the Ray Marine MFD. Third to that, we also have our tactile display. So if something were to fail, there's multiple ways of getting around it. So if your C-Zone goes down, your MFD goes down, you still have your tactile button. So even in a pinch, you're able to get home. Um, we've given you double, triple redundancy on board in a lot of systems um, so that you're always able to get home. Um, underneath, below me, um, there is an additional platform that you're able to stand on. Just raises your elevation a little bit to give you a little bit of a cleaner line of sight. Below, between your two uh, prime or three primary seats, so just down below these two sections, 
you have wireless charging for your cell phone. So simply place your cell phone on top of that puck and it's gonna wirelessly charge your cell phone. In addition to that, inside of our glove box, we've got USB and USB-C connections. So if you prefer a hardwired in selection, you're able to open up your glove box here, plug directly into it. It is a big glove box, so you can fit you know, quite a bit of uh, items in there. On the exterior of the hard tops, you've got your uh, outriggers. Uh, this owner is elected to include the outriggers. Um, so they are really nice carbon fiber outriggers. Simply spin them and you can point them out. Do your trolling when you finish, turn them in. In addition to that, the speakers underneath the hard top, we've got four primary speakers. So if you are in here, you get great sound. You also have your LED, recessed LED lighting. We have track lighting that goes around the perimeter of your hard top. And underneath our gunnels, we also have LED lighting. All of that's controlled uh, through this little control center right here. That you can use this system you can change the colors of all your led lighting so whether you want red one night you want to be blue the next night or you want to set it up so it listens to your music you can change it all and you can either do it through this or there is a really nice app that you can download onto your phone and actually sit there and change all of your colors and it's simply quickly by a push of a button and boom everything changes quite amazing really cool feature that tequila is included into the build of this boat you've got your custom Aquila steering wheel. Below that, you've got your joystick control. And to your right, you've got your Mercury throttle control. So very, very ergonomically laid out. One of the items I do want to draw your attention to just quickly, this boat, boat has been equipped with the FLIR system um, and as well as the Raymarine augmented reality. To learn a little bit about more either of those systems, please contact your local sales consultant. But the the fact that I'm trying to make is this boat can be equipped with FLIR as well as your Raymarine augmented reality system. So this is your FLIR camera. You can obviously see our teammate Ryan on the foreduck that's doing a bit of cast fishing. Um, really, really nice setup here. So lots of screens to go through. Um, as I step back, probably one of the biggest features that is going to be new in this segment for the uh, power catamaran fishing market is the inclusion of a cabin. So what we've done at Aquila is we've incorporated full-size cabin in addition to a full-size head. And we believe that we're the only ones in this market that have transitioned into this space. That's number one, the boat has been designed around the fishability. So you have everything that's been fully incorporated to do tournament fishing. Electric reel connections, you know, plethora of fishing rod holders, you name it, it's really been designed for fishing first and foremost. Second is the luxury side. It's the ability to keep your friends and family happy on those days that you're not fishing. So that's what Aquila has really done to incorporate everything. And it's really going to set this boat apart from anything else that you look at in the market in terms of power catamarans. I'll take a step downstairs and we'll run through the cabin. So welcome to the cabin on the all new Aquila 47 Malakai. I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with what you find down below here. Uh, to my aft or to my right, which is on your port side, uh, you've got a full head uh, back here, which is a wet head. So you've got your electric freshwater flush toilet, you've got a sink vestibule, and then you've got your shower wand, which is variable temperature, hot or cold. Great to have on board the Aquila 47 Malakai. I don't think you're gonna find another uh, power catamaran that's equipped this way. In terms of your bed, you've got a modified queen, queen size bed with plush top or, or memory foam mattress. Uh, to the port and starboard of your, of your mattress, you've got the hanging locker space. You also have some additional storage space in a cupboard. Below that, you've got two drawers. Um, so plenty of room, storage room in here to throw your clothes, some shoes, and get things tucked away nice and neat. As I came down here into the cabin space, I actually entered and I will exit through the pantograph door. So as you can see, it's quite an engineering marvel what Aquila has done, not only in the design to make this pantograph door open, but the ability to keep it watertight is really something that they spend a lot of time on and making sure that they got right. So if you are staying on board the boat, let's just say you go on a fishing trip and uh, or you're out on the boat and you have some kids that are staying on board, and they're taking a nap and you still need guests to be able to use the head. You actually have a privacy curtain that can close. This just simply pulls, pulls open or it pulls closed and you can button it up here. 
So that's gonna give your kids or you or your loved one some privacy space where your guests don't have to see your living quarters where you're staying, but they can still access the head. You'll see as we move throughout the boat, it's just Aquila's done a phenomenal job to the upholstered wall panels, to the blinds, you got a sunroof, recessed TV, air conditioning down here. They really thought about tying in what we do on our yacht range and our sport line into our offshore line. So we think that you're gonna be super pumped when you come on board and you take a look at the Aquila 47 Molokai. So again, thanks for joining me in the cabin. I'll exit and we'll take a look at the rest of the boat. So as I'm coming out of the cabin, we're gonna move our way up to the foredeck so I can uh, show you a little bit about what's going on up there, so follow me. As we move our way, again, you're gonna just notice the sheer beam on board this boat and a plethora of seating. So up forward, we've got three coffin boxes, uh, loungers, space right here, each with armrests. You got four cup holders um, on your two primary armrests between your three. On your cabin area, you've got a sunroof um, that obviously when you're downstairs in the cabin, you can open up. You've got two mechanical hatches for your cabin. So if you want that fresh air coming in, if it's a nice cool evening, in front of me, we've got our teammate Ryan, who's doing a bit of cast fishing off the bow. Whether you're doing, well, Ryan, I'll let you explain this. What do you like about being up here in the bow? How spacious it is, how big it is. I can walk around, I feel safe. The non-skid everywhere. Feels like you can get a couple people up here, actually. Ah, awesome, awesome. So you'd feel comfortable up there doing some cast netting? Yeah. For live bait? Yes. Yeah, good. Good. Well, thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Good luck catching a fish. Thank you. So, again, up here at the bow, I'm just going to cover a few deck hatches. Um, on our port side, we've got a fresh water wash down, a second fresh water wash down, by the way, but this typically used for your ground tackle gear. Your, in the center, we've got the beginning of our ground tackle gear, and on our starboard side, we've got where our actual windlass is. So your chain and road will actually come up, but there's a center pulley in the middle and it feeds over to your starboard side, which goes down into a big storage locker down below here. Underneath these two cushions, we've got additional storage. So you've got big, deep caverns down there, I'll call them, um, which you can throw fenders in there. You can throw a bunch of other items that are really nice and deep. Underneath this, underneath these coffin boxes, You've got fish locker or cooler space, however you want to use it. Each one is 74 gallons total. So 74 gallons here, 74 gallons on your other side. And your center one is a really nice area just to throw buckets. So you're, we've got a nice little sorted area where you can put five gallon buckets in, dock lines, you know, just get everything organized and tucked away when you're running at high speed. On top of our hard top, as I mentioned earlier, we've got all of our electronics gear up there as well as our outriggers so you've got razor spotlights FLIR system raymarine radar vhf antennas gps antennas you've got everything that you need on top of your hardtop when it comes to navigation and being safe on board what i'd like to point out to you also is additional rod holders running down the gunnel you've got the cleats that i spoke about earlier um, your pad of bolsters more speakers um, both here and in front of me Everything's been digitally tuned on board the boat, so we're, no matter where you're standing on board the boat, sounds like surround sound. It actually really is pretty phenomenal, the sound on board this boat, so uh, Fusion's done a tremendous job on getting everything dialed in on her. As I move back, um, I am going to not open the hatches, but I'll tell you a little bit about them. Underneath this hatch, actually I will open this one, just to give you an idea. Underneath this hatch, it's 165 gallons in this one. So you've got one on port, one on starboard. Two times 165 gallons just in storage. Underneath your coffin boxes, underneath this one, you've got an additional 90 gallons. Under here, you've got an additional 50 gallons in the aft cockpit. Underneath this one, it's access to your, to your fuel system, your, your tanks. On board, in terms of tankage for your fuel supply, you've got 1,048 gallons. Couple that with whichever engine package you're going with, whether it's the 600s, the dual 600s, quad 400s, or potentially a new offering by Mercury coming out very soon. You know, you got plenty of tankage there to support your long runs, where, no matter where you're going in the world. So plenty, plenty of range on board and very, very efficient boat um, for the size and what you get out of this boat. So we're very excited to see what people are gonna do with their boats, how far they're running, how they're gonna use them. 
In terms of draft, when your engines are up in the raised position, your draft is two foot two inches. Engines all the way down, you're at three foot eight inches. Your dry weight um, is just under 23,000 pounds. Um, your half load weight is about 28,000 pounds, just a smidge over 28,000 pounds, and your fully loaded weight is just over 33,000 pounds. From a production standpoint or build quality standpoint, there's just a few items that I'd really like to point out to you. Your primary bulkheads, which are your fore and your aft, there are th those two bulkheads of solid carbon fiber epoxy resin. So. I, and I want to draw your attention to that because that's really important when it comes to rigidity and structural support on board the boat as well as weight saving. So it's a very, very strong boat. Um, you got carbon fiber primary, primary four and a half bulkheads, pri uh, carbon fiber hardtop, your stringer system, um, your boat itself is all vinyl ester resin infused. You've got watertight bulkheads four and a half. So if you were to take a catastrophic puncture, good chance of survivability on board. Well, you have watertight bulkheads. Just thinking ahead on how our customers are gonna use our boats, how you're gonna use your boat, um, and making sure that you always are gonna get back to port safely. We really appreciate you spending time watching this video, learning a little bit more about the Aquila 47 Molokai. If you'd like to learn more about, about her, visit us at aquilaboats.com or visit your nearest Aquila dealer throughout the world. Thanks again. My name is Elaine Ross. I'm the Aquila brand manager. Have a great day.